the love Virgos. This is your reading for the 6th through the 7th. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome to the channel. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. Let's see what's going on for Virgo. Please show me what's going on for Virgo today. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter sign. What's going on with my Virgos today? Hmm. Not feeling emotionally um, happy. You're just not happy with something or someone um, or somebody's feeling this way about you. Uh, feeling the need to walk away from something that's not making you, um, that, that's not, you know, making your heart sing right now. Try seeing energy there. <clears throat> the magician. Um, trying to make something else happen in your life doing other things, um, you know, just trying not to concentrate on what you're leaving behind, uh, what's not making you happy, and um, having the confidence that you can go on and, you know, do other things, make a better uh, life for yourself, okay? Oh, that one wanted to flip, so, yeah, some of you are still a little undecided about exactly what it is that you want to do. All you know is that you want better, okay? What you're doing right now is just not um, cutting it. It's not cutting it, okay? Definitely want to take a leap of faith, um, get out of the situation, whatever is bogging you down, whatever you feel like is holding you back. Um, you know, just want to step out on faith and do something different. Not really sure about what that is right now, I feel, but, um, you know, it's, it's definitely what you're doing right now or where you have been is just not getting it for you. Um, probably a situation where you guys were arguing a lot with someone, um, whether it's on your job, whether it's in your house, with a partner, romantic partner, with your children. It's like, you know what? It, that's not working for you. It's just not. Okay. You want to be at peace is what I'm getting here. You don't want any conflict. Um, you're not trying to involve yourself in situations where there is conflict. If so, you just want to just like, just cut it out. Knight of Swords. Hmm. I feel there's somebody, um, maybe an Aquarius, Libra individual, um, that is really kind of giving you some hell right now. This person does not want to want you to leave. They do not want you to go. Um, it's like whenever they try to stop you. It's almost counterproductive because it's coming across as very aggressive, very argumentative. The very thing that you're trying to avoid that you don't like. And they keep bringing it to you over and over and over again. And it's like you just want to say your piece and you want to be out. Deuces, you know. That sort of thing. <clears throat> what else do we have? King of Pentacles. Yeah, you're just... <sighs> You're seeing the possibilities. You're seeing all the possibilities, um, things that you could be doing right now that are better for you, that are good for you, okay? And it's like, it's just not here. You're just not seeing it. I feel like this person is very immature. Um, they communicate very immaturely, and you're just sick of it. It's just what I'm getting. You're just sick of it, okay? There may be somebody else that you are interested in, somebody that you want to take a leap of faith with. Um, could be a job, even, for some of you guys that you're trying to get away from. It's just not, you know, it's not for you. Very disappointed about something here, though, you know. And I think it almost, even though you notice this situation is not good for you, I feel like a part of you still... You know, it hurts you to have to do this, but at the same time, it's like you're only doing what's best for you is what I'm getting here, okay? you just want to do what's best for you. Let's see what this Three of Swords is about. Why is the Three of Swords here? Why is Virgo disappointed? Why is the Three of Swords here? Three of Swords, that one wanted to flip. Hmm. Because you're just not emotionally fulfilled. Um, I, I think you're feeling uh, a little hurt that, you know, because you wanted to be here. This is a place that you wanted to be in. But, and you really at one point felt like this was the place for you. But now it's like you're realizing that it's not for you. And you're having to walk away. And in walking away, you know, you end up hurting other people. 
you know. <clears throat> so I, I think you're just really not happy with having to hurt someone else here. Why is the Knight of Swords here? The Knight of Swords. Something flipped there. The Fool. Hmm. Yeah, the Fool repeating itself. Maybe you think this person is like... <sighs> Whoever this is, you feel like their actions are hasty, you feel like they're immature, you feel like they're foolish, okay, um, and what they're doing. Whatever they're doing, you feel like their actions are like, they're not the best, okay, they're not the best. Why is the fool here? Why is the fool here? Why is the fool here? <clears throat> Why is a fool? Okay. This person reacts without actually thinking about things. They talk before, they speak before they think. Okay. And they don't really take time out to really, you know, look at themselves and, and, and make sure that this is the right thing to do. Okay. Hmm. Hierophant. Hmm. I feel like a lot of you guys are literally stepping out on faith here um, with the Fool of the Gilded Deck because there's something that I feel like is calling you. And whatever that is, it's not with whatever situation you have going on right now. Okay. There's something that you're being led to do and you feel it in your heart, you feel it in your soul and I think that um, this situation is just not for you anymore and you're just wanting to just kind of be out. Um, you know it's going to hurt the people involved but it's like you have to do what's best for you here and as I say that the Seven of Swords flips out. That is exactly what the Seven of Swords is, doing what you feel like is best for you. Okay. Hmm. The Eight of Wands and moving fast. Okay. It's like you're in a hurry. Um, I feel like a lot of you have been probably communicating with someone else. Lots of communication going back and forth. Okay. And I don't feel like your feelings are in this situation anymore. Um, no. Your feelings are not there anymore. I think that, you know, everything has kind of been exhausted here. I think you just don't want to leave somebody in a bad position is the reason why you are, um, part of the reason why you're heartbroken is because you don't want to leave somebody in a bad position here. Hmm. Yeah, you want to be there for this person. But there, yeah, this is the thing. This is what you will do. Okay. I feel like you guys will continue to, to be there for this person. I don't think you have a whole lot of emotions to give them, though. You don't have a whole lot of love to give them. I feel like you guys feel a responsibility somewhere, okay? But I think your happiness is in front of you, but you're looking back at this situation. Your fulfillment is not here. It's elsewhere. But I think you guys will continue to be here for this person, even though, you know, you're emotionally exhausted with this situation, guys. Okay, so we have Aries, Pisces, uh, Aquarius, uh, maybe Sagittarius energy here, um, Libra, and um, Leo is what I feel. Scorpio, maybe. Okay, guys, so I will be speaking with you guys soon, and um, bye now.